What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm currently under the car. Gonna start the clutch job. So gonna have to remove the transmission obviously to get to the clutch. Right now I'm just removing the exhaust from the downpipe and removing anything that will be in my way. So the heat shield, take the drive shaft out of the transmission should be able to access all these e-torx bolts all around the bell housing right there all the way up I remember when I swapped the uh, from uh, I did the manual swap the hardest one was probably like just the top bolt this time should be pretty straightforward um, I got the technique down so once you get to the top one just jack up the engine a little bit loosen the trans mount and then the whole drivetrain should tilt and then you should be able to reach it with uh, very long extensions um, coming from the back of the trans. So about to start ripping this apart. I forgot to film my intro. That's why I'm doing this right now, but um, stay tuned. All right, so once you remove your exhaust, for me, I just drop the front half, uh, let it hang from the rear. You're gonna have to remove this heat shield that's right here, right? And then you're gonna wanna take the drive shaft off at the Guibo. Um, it's three bolts, 18 millimeter. It'd be nice to have someone else up there either putting it in gear, holding the e-brake. Um, so as you brake one, you can let go of the e-brake, take it out of gear or whatever, rotate the drive shaft to get to the other one. Right now, I'm just uh, working by myself, so I'm just using a wrench on one side and fighting the momentum and using my wrench on the other side. So let's see it. All right, so almost midnight under the car, kids sleeping. Pretty tired because I've been up since like three. I don't even know why I'm filming a how-to video because there's a million on the internet, but I've already started so once you remove the three 18 millimeter bolt and nut from the drive shaft to the guibo just want to stick a flathead through here pry it back and then it should give you just enough room to rotate it out get it out the way and you can just let your drive shaft hang right there don't let it hit your head. All right, now you're gonna wanna disconnect your shift linkage up there. Just a little clip uh, right there. So that will just release the uh, lever from the transmission to the shifter. And then after that, we're gonna start by removing the slave cylinder and then the bell housing bolts. Hopefully I don't fall asleep. All right. Quick update. Uh, so the first thing you want to tackle is your slave cylinder. And if you look, just shine the light. See the hole in the nut? It's gonna be a 13 millimeter nut that goes over the stud. There's one on the bottom. You can reach that with a swivel. And then there's one on the top. Basically, I used one. Hold on, let me get this out the way. I used one, two, three extension with a swivel and some electrical tape. <clears throat> and you want to go. You're gonna want to go through the back, uh, and then put all the extensions through. So really long extension, and then you can get to the top. Kind of a pain in the ass, but. That's the only way. I just removed the uh, bracket that holds the two O2 sensors, secondary O2 sensors. So now we're just going to look for the big bell housing bolts. There's one up there, and all on the side, sides, and then uh, we'll just start taking them off. All right, so we got all the bell housing bolts out except for the top one. Uh, I remember coming from the top side 
and I think this is where I jacked the motor up a little bit um, but you can kind of see it's like dead center in the top of the transmission so we're about to take that one out now um, and then go from there all right been wrestling the top bolt that's in the center for like 45 minutes I just couldn't get the uh, extension in the swivels so 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench I was able to put it around the head and just go but I got all the bolts out Whew, I'm tired it's 2 a.m. Going all crazy. Last bolt right here. Now, for the fun part. What the heck? Right, so it's not on the jack. Oh man, are you serious? That could have been my face, but it wasn't. <sighs> All right, so I got 223. I think we started around midnight because uh, I was messing with the side skirts, lowered the coils. Adjusting the suspension. I'm pretty tired. I've been up since like three. Um, all things considered, two and a half hours to get the clutch out. Um, it's not too bad. Honestly, I spent 45 minutes getting that top bolt out. Um, I just couldn't get it. I had to use a 10 mil. But here's the clutch. It's been on for about two years uh, when I did the manual swap. And honestly, not that many miles. I think I probably put 2,000 miles, if that. So, not too impressed with spec. Maybe because I started drifting, more clutch kicks, but you can see the flywheel's pretty burnt up. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Clutch has some life left. Um, push plate's fine, but this flywheel just looks... I don't know if you can tell. Got a lot of heat spots. It's not good. Um, pretty late right now, but I'm just gonna put the clutch in and then put the trans in tomorrow. I think I can put the clutch in in about like 15, 20 minutes. DKM, nice upgrade, twin disc. I like how the directions are right on the box. Oh yeah, shout out to FCP, so I think I'm gonna name the video getting paid to upgrade my clutch because this spec 3 stage 3 and the flywheel combo was about 1500 bucks 1400 bucks when I bought it 
and this DKM twin disc, which is uh, rated for more power, more torque, is cheaper. And FCP Euro does warranty upgrades. So as you guys know, they lifetime warranty all their parts, but if you want a better part, you can pay the difference. That's usually how that works. But since this is on sale and the spec stage three is more, costs more, um, they'll be refunding me money back. So I'm getting paid to upgrade my clutch, which is honestly insane. So, all right, rest in peace, spec stage three. Just unbox, that's the word I was looking for, unbox. Man, my brain's not even working. Uh, the DKM twin disc, everything was wrapped nicely. This thing is heavy as crap. Got all the new components for inside the bell housing, bearing, uh, I believe it's called the fork or whatever. New flywheel bolts, alignment tool, and I don't know what this is. I'll figure it out. Looks like the clutch and flywheel is already assembled together. Uh, probably for shipping purposes, so I have to remove the pressure plate. Um, attach the flywheel to the engine, lock tight everything. Ugh. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe I should go to sleep. Yeah, anyways, I'm going to clean up, go to sleep, and uh, we'll get back to this tomorrow. Alright guys, I'm going to close the video out here. Um, just clean up my tools, go wash up, shower, get some sleep. Tomorrow's Sunday, so I don't want to be dead for the kids. Probably hop in the pool or hot tub or whatever, hang out with them during the day. But I feel like I made good progress. Um, got the quick release side skirts. Oops, that's how tired I am. But hey, quick release. <laughs> Suspension all hooked up. Got the Unicorn Racing Designs Kit. Um, brand new M3 arms. Lowered the coilovers. Got the trans out, the old clutch. I just unboxed that. Just gonna leave it all here. Uh, so when it comes time to wrench again, I'll just throw it uh, all in, lock tight everything, torque everything, put the trans in. Hopefully that top bolt doesn't give me issues anymore. Bleed the clutch and then, I don't even know if I'm gonna drive 500 miles before the next event because I'll be in Florida for a week. So I don't know, let me know in the comments, is that very necessary maybe 200 miles i don't know we'll see oh yeah got the uh nrg seat that i gotta install so i'll do a video on that got the new wheels for my wife's car i'll just do a quick reveal of her car uh just kind of want to add it to the channel just because it is a bmw and we are we have a lot of parts coming so be interesting to document her progress as she built her car so thanks for watching make sure you guys like and subscribe if you haven't watched the last videos watch those and stay tuned for more what's up guys uh, took a break last night um, so now take two days later back on the clutch job gonna take the clutch apart the disc part put the flywheel back in the car um, and then here's the old clutch it's just been sitting here as you can see the flywheel's really beat up I mean that's less than 4,000 miles since I sw uh, manual swapped the car so pretty disappointed in spec stage 3 plus the clutch is pretty garbage um heard that from a few people um I've I've, I've just seen a lot of people run them on the N54s but honestly not impressed for the money that I paid for it um shout out FCP Euro uh, for allowing me to do a warranty upgrade to upgrade to a twin disc DKM clutch. I'm excited to put the put it in the car, get the car done with, get the miles on it, uh, test out the angle kit, and then drive the slush event October first. Um, curious to go through this footage. Uh, the the night I pulled it, I was so exhausted because that morning I did like the hot air balloon event, so I was already up at like three and then I stayed up till like three doing the, the drop in the transmission so um, bear with me on that but let's get started oh god this lens is dirty what's up guys under the car right now my buddy Fernando came by uh, got the flywheel in about to put the twin disc 
clutches in and these are torqued down to spec. <laughs> All right. The way I'm giving them to you is the way they go. Like this, right? Yeah. First clutch disc. All right. What do you call this? Uh, like a in type plate. of yeah. In between pressure plate. This second disc goes in here. No. Is that the mm, Dell? No. Like, I see a lot of people with a lot of N54 issues. Yeah. I guess once you like take care of it all, which that's what I did. Like, that's, that's it. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Oh, six bolts of these. Yeah, you know, like once you take care of it all. All the meat and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. But like, like Marco, like you, you are dealing with a lot. Like, one more. They say hand tight, so this is, I'm still tightening. Okay. That's hand tight, right? Yeah. And hand tight is like, they say hand tight, and then whew, half or a quarter. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna be driving this for, for how many miles? I don't know, I was thinking about it. Your commute's not that far, so it's not like you can put miles on it. Like I you, drive a lot though. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, you need to be driving this thing for me. Please, because <laughs> there ain't no way I'm hitting 500. Like, no. Before slush? I do go to back to work to 22nd. Oh, then you can daily it to work. Damn, dude. Three months already. That's my son's been born. Damn. Like, they gave me three months off. Like, I felt like I was like, oh, what am I going to do at that time? You remember I called you? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'll come detail cards with you, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. I got like two weeks left. Dang, that's true, huh? Well, I'm going to Florida for a week, so there's that. But... Yeah. That'll be fun. It's expensive. Yeah. This GoPro is awesome. Anyways, got the clutch in. Pulling the alignment tool out, and... Yeah, looks pretty aligned to me. Yep. Time to put the trans back in. Alright, what's up, guys? Sorry I haven't been filming, uh, just getting late and wanted to crank it out. While well, I had the help of Fernando while he was here, uh, we managed to wrestle the transmission back into place. Uh, we were trying to get it as close as possible, um, but basically get it close as possible and then start you know, one bolt and then start working your way around in a start pattern. And then I had to once again go up top to uh, get the top bolt that's in the center. Uh, got all that on, everything in place. Right now, I'm just, uh, he went home, because it's getting pretty late. I'm just in the process of putting everything back together. So, won't film everything, but as of right now, got the slave back in, got the transmission mount back in, working on the shifter right now, and then after the shifter, we'll put the drive shaft on, put the heat shield, and then the exhaust, and honestly, that should be it, so hopefully, within the next hour or so, um, car will be all back together. All right. What's up guys, just wrapped up uh, putting everything back together. Everything went pretty smooth. Got everything buttoned up and then I hopped in the driver's seat and pushed the clutch pedal down. I heard a crack and brake fluid everywhere. Clutch fluid, or whatever, brake fluid. But it looks like I cracked my slave cylinder. So I took it apart, looked at it, and there's uh, plastic pieces missing. So I have to order a new slave. I wonder why that happened. Just reading on some forms, I was just saying maybe it was installed at an angle and the push rod didn't uh, engage the fork on the clutch so that sucks it's looking forward to being done with this project but just another thing thanks for watching as always make sure you guys like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time
all right what's up everyone wednesday night um just posted a video of my wife's new car so if you haven't watched that go check that out um man that thing is quick and uh i put the new wheels on it today so probably upload that one tomorrow or something but got the 219m wheels off um this right here is all her stuff i believe this is the front lip side skirt splitter diffuser um sequential led mirror stuff and i mean honest, honestly all this was like 300 bucks i'm surprised how cheap f30 parts are i think my diffuser alone was like 400 bucks or something so i got all that for 300 on ebay so it's pretty cool uh we swung by the bmw dealership it took two days for this part to get here it's just the uh slave cylinder uh from my clutch job so I'm gonna unbox this put it in and hopefully everything should be good hopeful I don't know my thought process is here I'll show you after I pull this out Brand new and shiny. All right, so my thought process is one: when I manual swap the car, I think the transmission had about a hundred thousand ish miles on it, so the slave was super old. Two: when this goes into the transmission like that, this bolt is accessible, but the top one is, I mean super hard to get to there's a stud the trans is right here the trans tunnel is like right here so there's no room so um and i was pretty tired as well so i tightened this one all the way down and then i was able and then i uh did the top one so maybe because of that it was at an angle and this um rod missed let me grab the old pivot and i mean this is just me trying to break it down and understand it myself. So this sits in the middle, right? This slave cylinder pushes against against the clutch fork like that or the pivot fork, whatever. And I think it just, when I put it in at an angle, it was probably about here. And it missed it, went all the way through and then busted. So I don't know. I hope so. Uh, we'll see. So, gonna get started. All right. So after battling the slave cylinder for about 30 minutes, I got it in there, and uh, I went to go bleed it like the old school way that I always uh, knew how to bleed a clutch. So I had my wife just step on the pedal, hold, release the uh, bleeder, but it just wasn't working. So I took the slave out and. Uh, out of the transmission um loosen the bleeder push the piston in tighten the bleeder let the piston out did that a couple times then i installed it in the transmission and right now i'm in the car and i have pressure just a weird engagement point i don't know if that's how the clutch is it's just a little different than the uh, spec so let us start it up and see
All right. So, what's up, guys? Welcome back. I realized I didn't really film an outro or after I started bleeding the clutch and getting frustrated for about 30, 40 minutes doing it the old school way, um, I took the slave off of the trans and bled it by hand with the slave off and then I put it in and it ended up working great. So I just went on a test drive, uh, drives fine, feels good. The new angle kit feels good. Uh, I like how I'm like stock looking now, which is great. Um, and right now I'm just doing a toe plate trick. Just make sure I don't kill my tires, but I already lowered um, the front coils two inches when I did everything. And like, look how much more gap there is. So, I mean, I probably had um, on the CNC kit, like it was two inches higher, right? About right here. But like, I can probably drop it down way more. So, I'm just going to do a toe plate real quick. Uh, actually, I should drop it first, do a toe plate check, and then. Um, get the break-in miles in. I need to wash this thing too because I was at the last event I was driving through like the sprinklers and it's just a whole bunch of watermarks. So yep, stay tuned. 